Hello everyone. Welcome to week four. This is part one. Um, we are on unit seven, um, lesson C. But before we begin, you know what we like to do. Get your feet flat on the floor, hands on your, resting on your knees um, or wherever. Relax your muscles and take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Do that one more time. Okay, now we're ready to learn. So, um, if you will, go ahead and open your books. We're going to be on Lesson C in Unit 7, but before we go there, let's go to page 84 to look at those pictures again. Um, so, my question for you is... Which person is Rosa? She's the woman wearing a lei, L-E-I, the flowers, the Hawaiian flower necklace. Um, so I'm going to write that on the board. Who is Rosa? She's the woman wearing the lei. She's the woman who is wearing a lei. I am not sure why she's wearing a lei. Uh, maybe she was at a party, a luau. Um, we don't know, but alas, she is wearing a lei. Um, okay, so you know this lesson is grammar, so let's look at the grammar of this sentence. Can you see that well enough? Is that better? Okay. Um, so what is the main, which one is the main clause of this sentence? There are two clauses, which one's the main clause? She, where is it? She's the woman. That's the main clause. And which is the dependent clause? That would be who is wearing a leg. Uh-oh. Oh, no. My blue marker. Okay. I guess we'll do, I guess we'll do red. Uh, no. We will do, all right, the one in brackets. You know what, that's a little confusing. Okay. She's the woman who is wearing a lei. Excuse me, just a moment. If I don't make space for this, I will continue to trip. Okay. Um, so, let's do that. She's the woman who is wearing a lei, so the dependent clause. All right, now, what, is, what word in the main clause is the adjective clause describing? So the adjective clause, who is wearing a lei, which word in this clause 
is being described here? Woman, right? Woman. Um, okay. So that was just a good warm up to remember clauses and subject and how who is wearing a lay describes woman. Okay, that's an adjective clause. Now let's get to the main part of our lesson, which is about um, using that, the word that, as the object of a dependent clause. So to demonstrate, I've got a little exercise for you. Um, this would work a lot better in the classroom. Just, I know, I know. Um, pretend like we are all together uh, and pretend like I'm giving this to one of you. Um, but instead I'm gonna give it to myself and pretend like I'm a student. Sorry, that's very confusing. Um, okay, so I've got a coin here. This is actually a Turkish lira. Uh, let me see the other side. It's from Turkey. So I've got a coin here and I'm going to hide it somewhere in the room. Okay, um, now, just a second. Okay, now tell me, where do you think it is? Is it on the ledge of the whiteboard? Nope, no coin there. Where could it be? Is it on my desk? My messy desk? I don't think so. I've got several other things, but no. Is it in the coffee cup? Someone said it might be in the coffee cup. Let's check. No, no coin. Um, is it on the stack of books where I record? I don't think so. <laughs> Um, oh wait, what is this in my hair? Wow, it was in my hair. <laughs> um, crazy. Okay, so now let's write a sentence about that. Um, so the question is, where's the coin that Kelsey got? The coin that Kelsey got was in her hair. Okay. So the coin that Kelsey got was in her hair. So what's the subject of, I'm sorry, what is the, what is the main clause? Um, I'm sorry, hold on just a second. Okay, sorry, this is a little confusing. Um, I confused myself. What is the subject of the dependent clause? Okay, it's a little tricky. What's the subject of the dependent clause? It's actually Kelsey, okay. 
And what is the verb in the dependent clause? Got. Okay, that's the verb. So what does that refer to? That actually refers to the coin. Um, so that is the object of the dependent clause. It is not the subject of the dependent clause. Um, so, uh, it looks like, I think the reason I was confused earlier is because that Kelsey got is a clause by itself. It is an adjective clause. So why do we use adjective clauses? Well, we use them to give more information about the word that they follow. So we know more about the coin. Um, if you just said the coin was in her hair, um, okay, that's fine. But now we know the coin that Kelsey got. So we know that, um, we know who her is. We know it was Kelsey's hair. Um, so that's a little bit more information about coin. Um, so we also use adjective clauses to describe, to identify, to make things more specific. Okay. So, now let's do a little practice. Adjective clauses, I'm just going to read this for you, but it is also at the top of page 88. If you'll go ahead and turn to page 88. And I will read for you. Adjective clauses come after a noun and begin with a relative pronoun. That is an example of a relative pronoun. Use that with people or things. Okay, so you see the example here at the top of, in the, on the top of page 88, it says, I like the car, you bought it. I like the car that you bought. Okay, so how did they, how did they combine those? What happened? Um, well, the first sentence, I like the car. In the second sentence, what does the word it refer to in the first sentence? It refers to car. So if you take it out of the picture and you combine them, with the word that, um, then you, you get the sentence, I like the car that you bought. Okay, let's try another one. Um, write this down. Also, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention, these are on the video. If you have the ability to use the QR scanner, um, and scan the little QR code and watch the video. If not, I can send the link in WhatsApp um, or email or something else. So just let me know. But um, I'm trying to do most of it for you here. So let's do another example. They're going, they're going to a new driving instructor. Okay, that's the first sentence. The second sentence, 
Anna recommended him. Okay. So, what do we do here? So first, you read the two sentences. They're going to a new driving instructor. Anna recommended him. In the second sentence, him replaces what from the first sentence? What is what does him refer to in the in the first sentence? refers to a driving instructor. Okay? So him refers to driving instructor. Um so now if you take out him and you combine the two sentences. Let's do it in green. How about that? They're going to a new driving instructor. that Anna recommended. All right. Can you see that okay? How does that, how does that sound? Does that make sense? Um, I really would encourage you to try and watch the video on this one because this is a little bit confusing, but just for time's sake, let's go ahead and do a little bit of practice from the sentences on page 88. Um, I'll do one with you and then you will do the rest on your own. And in the next video, uh, we can go over the answers or actually probably we won't do that. Probably you just take a picture and send me your answers, um, in a private message, not in the group. And I can let you know if you got it right. Okay. Um, all right. So it says circle the object in the second sentence. Then combine the sentences by changing the second sentence into an adjective clause with that. Okay. So you already see the first sentence there. It says, a good friend needed a new car. I've known her for several years. So what's the very first thing they asked you to do? Circle the object in the second sentence. So the object in the second sentence is her. So now you can take that second sentence and turn it into an adjective clause. Um, a good friend that I've known for several years needed a new car. So that one is an interesting example because they took the adjective clause and put it in the middle of the first sentence. Okay? Um, so just know that that is a possibility when you are creating a new sentence. Um, it doesn't have to always be first sentence and then adjective clause. Um, let's do number two together and then we will, then I'll let you do the rest on your own. All right, so number two, she used to drive an old car. Okay. 
Okay. She got it from her father. Okay, so the first step is to circle the object in the second sentence. So what is the object there? It. All right. So if that's the object, then we take that out and we could say she used to drive an old car that she got from her father. How does that sound? That she got from her father. All right, so then that refers to the old car. So we know more about the old car because of this adjective clause. Does that make sense? This is a little confusing, but I totally trust you guys. I think you will do great. And as always, if you have any questions, I'm always available. Email, text message, WhatsApp, phone call, anything. Just let me know, okay? Bye.